This is a 1982 Dodge Murata. This is a quick video tour of the car. My phone will focus. These were produced 1980 to 83. This one is an 82, so close to the end. Four matching tires, newer brakes front and rear. Power windows, locks, cruise control, tilt wheel, optional leather seats, which are actually pretty nice, especially considering the age. No rips, just a little fading. Rear seat is gorgeous. Passenger seat's real nice. Even the headliner is still in reasonably good shape. The steering wheel has a couple cracks, but compared to most of these steering wheels, I should show you my uh, Reliant. This one's in really good shape. Automatic transmission. Storage console. <coughs> AM FM 8 track, but I don't have any 8 tracks to test it. Radio works. The deal is good, won't last. It's got the rear amp switch, the air conditioner, heater thing, big glove box with the logos. They're in there for it. So if you want to put the badges back on, there they are. Power windows do function. That one. And that one. No warning lights on the dash. No issues with anything with the motor like that. The cruise control does work. The intermittent wipers do work. However, the passenger linkage uh, needs new bushings. I'll try to fix it, but uh, no guarantees. I get the parts in time for that uh, the washer works here's the ashtray the double ashtray I'll show you under the hood rear ashtrays are built into the doors it has the optional alloy wheels all right 318 that's been modified a little bit. Uh, combustion computer, not anymore. It's been converted over to a different ignition system here. You can see here, no more lean burn problems. It's got a newer alternator on it. Runs awesome. Drives smooth. Under hood light still works. <clears throat> hit the gas and hit the key and it starts right up just fine. Relatively solid car for the age. Body doesn't really have much rust on it at all. Underside is relatively decent. Got a true dual exhaust. There's the one. See here, the fiberglass is cracked a little bit. There's the other for the exhaust. <clears throat> the worst part about the body is right here a little bit. And then Right here a little bit. It is almost 40 years old though. I don't know 
know what that is, but it's funny. <clears throat> So yeah, sun visors, they're in decent shape too, go for a quick spin here, Let me turn the fan off. relatively quiet, pulls nice, goes straight, brakes work good, steering feels pretty good. Power steering on this thing is like effortless, it's really cool. Here, I'll show you. Pinky finger, right? Do 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 do. Like nothing. Do 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 do. I don't make cars like this anymore. The personal luxury coupe. Or I think the advertisement used to be uh, America's driving machine or something like that. But this would be a great car for uh, for someone who wants to uh, remember how things used to be. Go around these people here. And uh, just until, uh, I think it was 2009, when the Challenger Coupe came out again, this was the last rear-wheel drive coupe made by Chrysler. And I mean, if you really think about it, it is the last rear-wheel drive coupe made by actual Chrysler. So, how about that, huh? It's a pretty cool car. So uh, it could be yours. Thanks for watching.